your internal being. Your capacity for thinking. This is the sickness bar. Part of this awkwardness. We'll make it, we'll make it through. Before we start the video, I just want to let you know that if you scroll down to my description box and click that link, it'll bring you to this page, to my cookbook. And you can buy my cookbook either using PayPal or your credit card. And once you do so, you'll get a downloadable PDF sent to your email that will look like this. Then you have access to 55 plus vegan recipes that all have an accurate photo representation of them. Hope you enjoy! This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. Ew. Okay, serious question, guys. When you blow your nose or s have phlegm in your throat and spit, do you look at it or do you just like close the tissue and like throw it away? Because I always look. I also never treat myself to the luxury of tissues. I just use toilet paper because it's already in the house. It's basically the same thing. If it's good enough to go down there, it's good enough to go on my face. You know what I mean? Your bed is your sacred space when you are sick. It is where you should spend the majority of your time unless you have a big comfy couch to lay on. I personally do have a big comfy couch to lay on and one of my roommates has the exact same sickness as me. So we've been laying on that couch a lot and um, having a great time together. I've been laying in my bed for like an hour and a half being awake. I woke up at like 8.30, just naturally. And now it's almost 10. I've just been, you know, answering people, talking to people, you know, it's past 10. And the big tip that I have for you when you're sick is a heating pad. It makes everything just so much better in your life. I'll put it in my bed while I'm falling asleep. Not while I'm falling asleep. I'll, I unplug it before falling asleep and then just cuddle the residual warmness of it until I pass out. <coughs> the mornings are always just so much worse. Why is that? Also, hello my beautiful friends. I hope you're having a beautiful damn day and welcome back to another video. I'm gonna try my hardest to stay as positive and lighthearted and upbeat as I possibly can, but I do not even sound like myself. <laughs> Ew. We'll make it, we'll make it through. And we're out of water. A little bit better. that I've been doing for my sickness is taking an oregano shot and I've been adding some vitamin D as well just to get it all down in one go. One, two, three, four, and five. And lots of vitamin D. Bottoms up. I'm weirdly getting used to the oregano flavor. Vitamin B12. Lots of vitamin C. And the all in one must. Athletic greens. Do you want some Brianna? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll see yes. This is the sickness bar. Now we take shots of oregano. It makes athletic greens. 
There you are, madam. Thank you. Part of me doesn't know how entertaining this video is going to be with my lack of energy. <laughs> You are not looking so good. The heating pad comes with you everywhere. It's, it's an important thing when you're sick. Cozy blankets, lots of pillows. I also just made myself some cereal. It's from Catalina. Catalina Crunch. It's hard to say when your nose is all weird. It doesn't have a bunch of crap in it, um, so I feel pretty good about eating it while I'm sick. I did the Cinnamon Toast Crunch one and the Dark Chocolate one. This is not sponsored. And I threw some blueberries on top, some blackberries, and some hemp seeds along with some oat milk. My roommate showed me this show called Fleabag, and it's like kind of in- whoa. It's kind of intense. It's actually really good and really interesting and funny. I've really enjoyed it so far. I have to do a little bit of work, unfortunately, because that's just kind of the reality of working for yourself sometimes. So I'm just going to watch the show, chill, relax, and like be distracted with my work and the show all at the same time while I'm eating and drinking tea. It's like just, <clears throat> just chilling, you know? And hopefully all of this helps my body heal from this viral death virus <laughs> that I have. And thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. You can create a beautiful website at home while you're sick as a dog because you might as well do something to feel good about yourself, am I right? <laughs> And while well, Squarespace just makes it that easy, choose one of the pre-existing beautiful templates and make it unique to you and your business. And if you have any questions along the way, because I know you will, we all do, you can contact their award-winning customer service. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch that beautiful website, because you're going to want to share it with the world, head to squarespace.com slash Julia Ayers to get 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or website. Thank you so much, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. And back to it. I think we can probably all agree that when we're sick, your capacity for thinking and doing things is like zero. So we're going to make a super simple soup. This isn't going to take a lot of energy out of you. It's going to be... <coughs> Perfect for moments like this. So all I'm going to do is chop up some onion, ginger, and garlic. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing this or put a lot of effort into it. It's just going to be what it is. Someone's calling. Oh, someone's calling me. Hello? When you're sick, it just kind of feels like a never-ending weekend, and then you get, like, a phone call from your bank, and you're like, oh, yeah, it's, like, Tuesday. It has been snowing.
I really just want a smoothie to be honest. I just want a cold, chocolatey, banana y -y smoothie. So that's what I'm gonna give myself. Ah! Ah! Two to three bananas. Taking it easy is literally the most important thing that you can possibly do for yourself. I almost went for a run yesterday because I literally just wanted to go for a run and wanted to move my body and be an active, feel productive and just be a better human. But when you're sick, you literally should not do that. <laughs> just, it's okay to be lazy. Sometimes you have to like fight your desire to be a productive human just so you can feel better faster and be a productive human sooner and better. <coughs> Sometimes taking care of yourself means doing nothing. Thank you for turning the fan off. I've had this date syrup for probably a year and a half. It just always ends up <laughs> at the back of my cabinet and I never use it. Oh, I put hemp protein, just plain hemp protein. I really enjoy the hemp yeah because they actually fill this entire thing full of protein and there's nothing in it other than organic hemp protein concentrate and oregano extract interesting so many vegan protein powders are just like full of trash and they like market to you as if they're like healthy or whatever but they're just like gums and additives and sweeteners and fake flavors and like all of this stuff and as much as I encourage you guys to eat as you feel it is important to take care of your body and make sure you're aware of the things that are going inside of your body because we all want to live a long and healthy life and sometimes too many additives and preservatives is just not good for your internal being and can make sicknesses like this even worse and even more prolonged I think we're good <laughs> and his roommates also already pick over me because he's hot. I don't have an exact science to this, but I'm going to gurgle salt water. Pink salt, a cup, I'll throw some salt in there. It's probably too much, I don't know. And add some hot water. A little swishy swish to mix it up. Let the salt dissolve, you know. Add some regular temperature water and then um, shove it in your mouth. Ugh. Ugh. So yuck. It needs more hot water though. <sighs> One last thing we gotta do here. So all you need to do to create your own sauna is grab a bowl, some hot water, a towel, take off your hat, if applicable, and get it on. I feel like I'm gonna glue my contacts to my eyeballs doing this. Do you need eucalyptus in there? No. Do you want some? I have some in the bath. I would love some. Mm -hmm. This is a real great look for me. 
Mm -hmm. I appreciate you. Oh wow. Oh but my god. You might not be able to breathe after that. Yeah, I can barely breathe right now. <laughs> you call it this is too much. <coughs> it's becoming more tolerable. And we finished where we started. Back in bed. I highly suggest if you are lazing around all day with sickness that you do a little bit of stretching because your body has been stagnant all day. Put on some singing bowls. It's really relaxing. Thank you, my beautiful friends, for joining me on this very sickly day. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day because you deserve it as per always. And remember to take care of yourself this season because sometimes we get sick and sometimes we need ourselves to slow down, rest, drink tea, and binge watch shows. I love you all so very much and I'll see you again so very soon. Ugh.